Hey guys, Danny Bossa here. I thought of an interesting little analogy just now. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been on a roller coaster before. I've been on one a few times. I always noticed that when the roller coaster was going in a fairly straight line and we were like low to the ground, I was just fine with it. And frankly, even if the roller coaster was like pretty high up off the ground, as long as it was going in a straight line, I was okay with that too. What always made me kind of feel a little bit unwell is when the roller coaster was going up and down and up and down and up and down. I started feeling a little, you know, unwell. And probably some of you guys can relate. In this case, it wasn't necessarily the roller coaster itself that was making me feel unwell. It was only when it was going up and down. As long as it wasn't going up and down, I was just fine with the roller coaster. This is an interesting little analogy when it comes to TRT. So a lot of guys that are taking shots once a week or every 10 days or every two weeks and, and so on, um, and what's happening is that their levels are going up and down and up and down because they get the spike when they inject and it goes down and back up and back down. And the issue what happens there is that when you're converting that testosterone into estradiol, well, your estradiol levels wind up going up and down and up and down and up and down. I bring up the analogy of the roller coaster because estradiol works in precisely the same way. As long as you're keeping the estradiol stable, like my example about the roller coaster just going in a straight line, you're fine. You're not going to feel it. It doesn't matter if it's low. It doesn't matter if it's high. As long as it's stable, you're not going to feel it. You're going to feel just fine. If the estradiol levels are going up and down and up and down because you're not injecting at a frequency that makes sense for you, you're not going to feel too good. So this is exactly the same analogy. It's not the estradiol per se. It's when it's going up and down and up and down. Best bet, best approach to fix this for guys that are having issues, they're saying, I've got IE2 issues, or if I don't take my AI, such and such happens, do daily shots for a little while. You would not believe the number of guys I've just got doing on daily shots, these complex guys that have an issue with uh, fluctuating hormones and what it, how it makes them feel. They take their weekly dose, they divide it by seven, they load up seven syringes on Sunday, they put them in their bathroom drawer, and every morning they pull out a syringe and they give themselves a tiny little shot and that's it. Nipple puffiness, gone. Nipple sensitivity, gone. Erectile dysfunction starts resolving. Libido issues start resolving. Brain fog starts going away. Then they also notice that they're able to raise their dose even further. They're able to raise their testosterone dose even more because a lot of them are saying, I can't raise my dose beyond a certain point because if I do... I start getting swollen nipples or sensitive nipples or water retention or whatever else. Yeah, because your estradiol levels are just going up and down and up and down. Get them stable. Do daily shots. Get those levels stable. These issues will vanish. Okay? You can give that a try. It works 10 times out of 10. I am, I'm doing this with absolute 100% consistency. Every single guy that has had these issues, I say try some daily shots for a little while and get that going and problems are resolved. Then with time when the issues are gone, you can try doing every second day shots to see, do my levels stay equally as stable? Do I still feel fine? And if you do, you can do that. The trick is to find a way to, to, to find, figure out the minimum amount required to inject per week where your levels feel stable. The best bet is to start by daily shots and you can slowly work your way up. I personally do daily shots. Every single time now I've gone to every other day, tw three times a week, what have you, my issues all come back. Everything comes back. I go back to daily shots, problem solved. So loading up those seven syringes on Sunday takes me about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. In the morning, I pull a syringe out of the drawer, give myself my quick shot, takes me a couple seconds, done. Any of you guys having issues of those sorts, you can get off your AI, I'm telling you, and do daily shots, problem resolved. You will not have these problems anymore. It is not the estradiol causing the issues. The estradiol is actually really good for you. It's when it's going up and down. Keep the level stable. You won't have any issues. Okay. Have a good weekend, guys.